into Rusty Spur Ranch and with Stu, my producer. I think he's feeling ready. I'm definitely feeling ready. And apparently my my cowboy is called Han. I've just got no idea of what he's gonna be like. I've got all these visions in my mind that he's gonna be like Curly from um, City Slickers. I hope I don't annoy him. We are literally pulling in to the ranch like right now. Oh, there's so many horses. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can see loads of them are all like saddled up. Oh my God, he's got a cowboy hat on. Is that him? My real life cowboy? <laughs> I can't believe it, hello. Stephanie. Nice to meet you, how are you? Han is the instructor of the ranch today. And let me tell you, he's a real cowboy. Yeehaw! Oh, I'm so excited. This is literally my dream and you're making it come true. So I am, oh, I'm so excited. You just have no idea. We arrived to the ranch and it literally looks like I have arrived on a movie set. I mean, Butch Cassidy can eat his heart out because I am the new cowboy kid. What we're gonna do with you today is we're gonna take you with us while we go locate our cows. Okay. Cool. So we ride for a good 20 minutes before we even see any sighting of a cow. They're very cute, fluffy, black, and minding their own business over grazing on a mountainous side. He then tells us we need to round them up and get them moving over another mountain. So it then becomes a whole other ball game of horse riding. And we're gonna move the whole bunch right towards our crew there. Oh no, what about these guys? Han spots a couple of cows over in the near distance that are, you know, have broken away from the pack. I thought I had it in very capable hands, but no, it was the dog who saved the day. Roxy, 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 go left. I've got a runaway cow situation on my hands that Roxy is being an extremely good assistant. Let me tell you, nothing uh, puts things into perspective than a little dog uh, doing things that you certainly cannot do. So cows always move away from pressure. So wherever we are, we're applying pressure to the herd to cause them to move away. And so generally speaking, we want to put the cows between us and where we want to go and push them in that direction. There's a little fence over in yonder distance, which we can't really see, but you know, we're just aiming for wherever direction he's pointing at, and I'm just going along with it because I can't see anything. And then the fence, the space is like this big, and we've got like 100 cows to get through a space this big. You can imagine what it's like. It is a, a circus. Okay, so the last bit of the drive, we're getting the cattle to their final destination. And uh, so we're like pushing the cattle up over this hill and then it gets to the top and you can just see all these aspen trees, the blue sky, the mountain range. Honestly, it was just incredible. I just would do it again and again and again. Come on, get it moving guys, let's go. Come on, let's go, let's go. Hey, 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 hey. hey cows, keep going. Move it, cows. All right, Steph, that's enough. Yeah. Let's call it quits here. So uh, that was an experience, but uh, one I will, yeah, I'll never forget. You've made my dream come true. This has been the best day ever. Thank you so much. <laughs> and thank you Pocahontas too. It was our pleasure. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us, Steph. It was a pleasure to have you. 